हेलो एवरीवन वी आर द स्टूडेंट ऑफ शिवाजी राव एस जोनले कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी टुडे वी गोना एक्सप्लेन यू द टॉपिक ऑन फॉर्मुलेशन एंड इवोल्यूशन ऑफ फैनिशिंग क्रीम अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ गिरिजा मैम एंड प्रिंसिपल नितिन मोहिरे सर हियर आर द पॉइंट्स व्हिच वी विल कवर फर्स्ट डेफिनेशन इंट्रोडक्शन नीड एंड ऑब्जेक्ट्स प्लान ऑफ वर्क लिटरेचर रिव्यू रोल ऑफ एपीआई and ex- excipients apparatus required formulation formula and procedure evolution test parameters storage and packing packaging result and discussion conclusion future prospects and reference first definition creams spread easily and seem to disappear rapidly when rubbed on skin are termed as vanishing creams these are an oil and water type of emulsion which when applied to the skin leave an almost invisible layer on it so called vanishing cream so there are two types of emulsions that is water by oil and oil by uh, oil by water next point is this creams can be quickly washed off with water due to the presence of oil by water emulsifiers emulsifier means uh, these are uh, emulsifiers are used to prevent the separation of their oil and water uh, components for example sodium phosphate diacetyl tartaric acid which is ester of monoglyceride next okay so introduction vanishing cream contains a hygroscopic ingredients hygroscopic means a substance tending to absorb moisture from the air such as glycerol and a small amount of a fatty ingredient it leaves a protective invisible film of stearic acid on the skin the main ingredients are stearic acid which gives pearly white shining appearance to the cream after application gives thin white film of free stearic acid it is oil by water type of emulsification product next skin offers convenient site for ad- administration of drugs and the skin as a pathway of drug delivery can offer many benefits over topical drug delivery system including maximum concentration confined at site of action lower fluctuation in plasma drug level avoidance of first part pass metabolism of the drug here first pass uh, phenomenon is uh, drug metabolism at a specific location in the body which leads to a reduction in the concentration of the active drug so specifically uh, specifically when administered orally before it reaches the site of action or systemic circulation so which subsequently increases the drug bioavailability and high patient compliance and it additionally overcomes gastrointestinal degradations bioavailability refers to the extent and rate at which the active moiety active moiety means drug or metabolites enters systemic circulation thereby accessing the site of action so here is the mechanism we will see skin acts as a selective penetration barrier that restricts the entry of certain molecules from its surface so a uh, selective mechanism a uh, selective penetration barrier means the epidermis it the de- epidermis provides the major control element for drug penetration the main part of skin is stratum corneum which could be very vital in percutaneous abs- absorption absorption it is rate limiting barrier in percutaneous absorption and indicates pronounced resistance there are two feasible routes of drug penetration throughout the intact skin namely the transepidermal and transependential pathways the transepidermal pathway includes the passage of molecules via stratum corneum transepidermal penetrations can be termed intra or intercellular this permits diffusion of lipophilic or nonpolar solutes via the continuous lipid matrix the transepidermal path includes the passage of molecules via sweat glands throughout the hair follicle now we'll move to the next slide uh, here is the structure of 
skin you can see first layer is epidermis second one is dermis third layer is hypodermis and here are uh, blood vessels which is uh, enclosed in it and uh, in left hand sides you can see here follicle sweat gland that fatty substances and uh, mm, connective tissues so we'll move to the next part uh, we will see need and objective what is the need and objectives for this objective the objective of this research work was to formulate the vanishing cream which does not cause any side effects or adverse reaction the cream also act as a fairness expert in day to day life by removing aging signs it also possesses nutritional value which provided required nutrients to the skin preparation of vanishing cream by emulsification method and what is the need it is used as a skin and moisturizer a uh, shiny texture to the skin prevents skin chapping or roughening so here we divided our plan of work into three phases phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 first phase one in which literature review uh, through journals books online sources and ips also feasibility of research project selection of drug phase 2 selection of excipients role of excipients different formula of vanishing cream formulation procedure selection formulation of vanishing cream evaluation of vanishing cream study on microbes and humans and in phase 3 data analysis and interpretation thesis writing and submission conclusion reference in literature review in the present study polyherbal oil in water vanishing emulsion cream was formulated based on the antifungal antimicrobial anti-inflammatory skin soothing and anti-aging potential of aloe vera kachura plant linseed long pepper nagarmata plant nutmeg turmeric and wheat grain all herbs were extracted by using the maceration method with ethanol as solvent the prepared vanishing cream was then evaluated for various parameters and results were obtained within acceptable values the prepared vanishing cream was found stable and formed during the stability studies performed as per the guidelines of international council for harmonization ich at different temperature for a period of a month results have shown that formulation have good stability it can be concluded that the prepared polyherbal vanishing cream was pleasing simply washable without side effects and can be utilized to protect and avoid degradation of the skin second vanishing creams are oil in type of emulsions which you have seen earlier when applied on the skin of the uh, surface of the skin this spread thin oil less film which is not visible to the naked eye hence they are called vanishing creams they are used to hold powder on the skin as well as to improve adhesion so here are the roles of excipients first one is stearic acid second one is glycerin third one is koh cetal alcohol methyl paraben and propyl paraben rose water so we will see one by one first one is um, stearic acid it is odorless colorless wax like fatty acids is commonly found in vegetables and animal fats stearic acid is ideal as an emulsifying agent and great for skin products it is uh, it is major components of vanishing cream it is govern consistency of the cream in emulsion stearic acid is an effective stabilizer thickener and softener glycerin second one is glycerin it is most favored humectant sorbitol and propylene glycol also can be used as a humectant the humectant prevents excessive drying out of cream third one is koh third one is koh potassium hydroxide is a highly alkaline ingredient also known as lye used in small amounts in cosmetics to modulate the ph of a product cetal alcohol cetal alcohol helps prevent creams for separate from separating into oil and liquid a chemical that helps to keep liquid and oil together is known as an emulsifier it may also make a product thickener or increase the product's ability to foam 
मिथल पैराबिन एंड प्रोपाइल पैराबिन्स आर वाइडली यूज एज अ एंटी माइक्रोबियल प्रिजर्वेटिव इन कॉस्मेटिक्स एंड ओवरऑल एंड टॉपिकल फार्मास्यूटिकल फॉर्मुलेशन लास्ट वन इज रोज वाटर इट हैज एंटीसेप्टिक एंड एंटी बैक्टीरियल प्रॉपर्टीज दैट कैन हेल्प वंस हील फास्टर दिस कैन ऑल्सो यूज एज अ स्टोनर इन डे टू डे लाइफ दिस प्रॉपर्टीज कैन हेल्प क्लीन एंड फाइट ऑफ इन्फेक्शन ऑफ कट्स एंड बर्न्स they can also help cut burns and even scars heal faster here are the apparatus which we used uh, for making the vanishing cream beaker measuring cylinder glass stirring rod thermometer water bath ppt spatula now formula um um three tab in it is divided into three tables first one is uh, the ingredients which we used and the quantity taken Uh, for this and uh, what are the roles of excipients first one is stearic acid which we have taken 12 g and uh, it has active pharmaceutical ingredients it is active pharmaceutical ingredient second one is glycerin 0.24 g humectant koh 0.84 g and the role of excipients is to modulate the ph of a product fourth one is acetyl alcohol Zero point zero eight seven gram. It act as emulsifier. Fifth one is methyl parabin. Zero point zero two nine gram act as preservative. Propyl parabin. Zero point zero two nine gram act as preservative. Rose water quantity sufficient. Use for odor. And last one is purified water, which uh, we taken forty four point seven six ml. so uh, the procedure behind this first weigh all the required ingredient of vanishing cream properly and keep them separately take stearic acid in a beaker and melt them at 70 degree celsius second take another beaker and add water koh acetyl alcohol methyl paraben methyl paraben propyl paraben glycerin and heat up to 70 degree celsius uh, third one is third we did add the preparation of first beaker is added in mortar pestle and then add second beaker solution drop by drop with continuous stirring after add rose oil and mix them thoroughly to obtain uniform product provide a professional finish so here you can see which we prepared the vanishing cream and transfer it in the container and uh, label it perfectly vanishing cream stored at room temperature not more than 40 degree celsius okay yeah so moving forward we look up the evolution test of vanishing cream evolution test basically gives the details study about the vanishing cream it gives the data of stability and safety report and it also provide the information regarding the effectiveness of a cream then if any antimicrobial activities having in a cream it also can be determined by the evolutions so there are the many type of evolution test so list of evolution test so first is the determination of a organolactic property then ph then determination of homogeneity disolubility test then determination of viscosity determination of spreadability patch test washability then irritancy and the antimicrobial test so we can get the evolution data from the vanishing cream after that all the test so we look up one by one so first is the organolactic property basically it is a very simple process so we can find the we can get information by physical or visual appearance after testing this cream so by appearance we find out the color odors and roughness by physical appearance then ph ph is a very important test in a, any formulation so for measuring a ph we taken a 10 mg of cream 
and by using a pH meter we get the pH determination of homogeneity basically how much is homogeneous means the particles in a cream which is uniform in nature then disolubility solubility test basically it is a test which identify the which kind of emulsion it is so basically there are the two type of emulsion that is a oil in water type of emulsion and water in oil type emulsion so far for finding what kind of emulsion it is so we basically use the two type of dyes that is a water soluble dyes or so uh, oil soluble dyes water soluble dyes examples are amaranth and uh, oil soluble dyes that is a uh, scarlet trades and sudan 3 so by using any one of the dye we can find which kind of emulsion it is so basically for finding we get some little bit amount of screen on a micro uh, microscope slide so after adding a water soluble dye the cream showing some result in a microscope which is the the background portion of a slide which is totally in a red color because our dye water soluble amaranth which is soluble in amaranth after solubling in water it get a color red so our continuous phase will appears red so basically it looking like some thing like that the background portion that is a continuous phase having a water and the some globules present over it which is colorless because it having a oil property so dispersed phase having a little bit globules on a continuous phase it's mean it is a oil in water type of emulsion by using a simple dye we can find out the which kind of emulsion it is same process for the oil soluble dyes the result we get in uh, oil soluble dyes that is a uh, vice versa the continuous phase which is a uh, uh, colorless and uh, then the uh, dispersed phase will appear as a uh, red in color then viscosity determination for determination of viscosity we using a, a brookfield viscometer and uh, it is a model dv uh, 2 plus uh, pro model using a spindle number s64 yes, at uh, 20 rpm and at the temperature of 25 degrees celsius then determination of spreadability test spreadability test also is a very important test in a uh, cosmetic formulation like a cream for spreadability we require the two slides some weights and a timer then uh, using a, a formula s is equal to m into l into t uh, divided by t we can get the value of s which is spreadability for finding a spreadability uh, take a some amount of cream let is a, that is a 10 mg of cream between the two slide before we adding a adding a string on upper slide just put a 100 mg of weight placing over the uh, upper slide for a 5 minute 5 minutes then we added 20 mg of weight into a uh, string to pull the upper slide and uh, from 1 cm to 10 cm how much time is required to move upper slide from 1 cm to from 1 cm to 10 cm that is a uh, uh, spreadability of our uh, cream so we can find out by the s is equal to m that is the uh, mass of a uh, upper slide or weight of uh, weight of upper slide then into l l means the length which covered from 0 to 10 cm in how much time that is a t so we can get the s 
after that patch test it is used uh, to test the any hypersensitive reaction so we using a back side of air because it is a very high uh, sensitive parts of our body or skin so uh, why uh, applying one to three days continuously to the behind the air uh, so we get the some result like an uh, no any hypersensitive reaction because no any uh, redness or edema occur washability test as much as easy to wash the cream which gives the better result of finishing cream removal of a cream apply on a skin was done by the using washing under the tap water with a minimum minimum force to remove the cream without using any soap irritancy test for irritancy test the skin is apply on a left hand dorsal side surface of a skin so there is a no any edema or redness occur antimicrobial test it gives the grow, growth of if any bacteria is growing inside the vanishing cream so it can be harmful to our product so basically for testing antimicrobial test we using in a some uh, agents like uh, propyl paraben and uh, pro methyl paraben also rose water having some antimicrobial activity which protect from the microbial so we there are the two microbial uh, test by agar uh, gel diffusion method we using a uh, uh, spectrocopus aureus and bacilli subtilis also gram negative bacteria pseudomonas like using on a agar gel diffusion method we can find out the antimicrobial test you can see the result of it there is a no any zone occurs zone there is a zone occurs means it's having a antimicrobial test it is a uh, result of evolutions appearance it is white order is a rose type pH is 6.2 which is in our range homogeneity that is a smooth and consistent then dye test is a oil in water type of then spreadability test that is the S which is 40.28 gram centimeter per second which is easily spreadable then not hypersensitive reaction as a patch test washability test is a uh, easily washable their irritancy test it is a no edema or no any redness occur antimicrobial test there is a zone occurs it means it's having a antimicrobial activities for packaging and storage for packaging we need a suitable collapsible tube but we using a uh, closed container because uh, our product is having a uh, much quantities so we using a, a closed container which is a transparent and uh, easy to use then uh, storage must be stored in a room temperature the temperature not be exceed more than uh, 40 degrees celsius which is harmful to uh, stability then precaution uh, if any redness or any uh, irritation occurs so as much as soon the uh, possibility of uh, stop to use the this cream then labeling for uh, labeling uh, some data we mentioned in our product so there are the uh, name of the ingredient quantity need quantity batch manufacturing date expiry date manufactured by marketed by storage condition direction special instruction if any then there are the marketing production which is very popular in market as a vanishing cream so there are a like may ponds and max factors then uses vanishing cream used as an adhesive for makeup and powders reduce the loss of moisture from a dry skin then it is also used to smooth the skin and keep it soft prevent skin from the roughening and chipping 
as a result we get the uh, act a proper uh, vanishing cream which is a uh, safe to use and provide the moisturizing property while applying to the whole skin this is our product the conclusion basically we prepared the uh, vanishing cream by the simple method uh, less equipment is required and it having a uh, some nutritional value also also it contain the antimicrobial activities also it having a odor and it is a very smooth in a uh, consistence and homogeneous in nature so it is a easily usable and the cost must be uh, less while making this all future aspect in future vanishing demands of vanishing cream is increasing day by day because uh, people are moving towards the cosmetic so there are the uh, major uh, aspect or a major prospect to increase the market of vanishing cream also so there are uh, many uh, future prospect so we can be a made of herbal industries to grow up in uh, this market so they are having a less side effect cost will also reduce it is a uh, some data collected from the uh, google uh, that from 2028 to 2023 the market of vanishing cream is increasing day by day there is uh, no any uh, losses uh, the in running year also 2023 the market will also grow up or increasing to acknowledgement so we thankful to our principal dr nitin moire sir and also the professor and guide uh, grija moire ma'am so we are the student from the shivaji raj ondle college and uh, thankful to our lab assistant and friend also which who help in our projects the reference taken from the different articles some slides and the official book of pharmacopoeia formulation of cream thank you